Hello there. <coughs> Hello there, World of Tankers. I'm Drudels Blitz, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of something different I really haven't ever done on this channel. Today, I'm going to have fun with missiles. Yes, you heard that right. The missile hater himself is going to have some fun. As I do know, the update for 7.0 is coming very, very soon, probably within the next couple of days. So I figured, you know what, the Sheridan is going to be nerfed through the ground. It is not going to have as much engine power, the missiles aren't going to go as far, and they're not going to be as maneuverable. And I actually had some fun with Meadsy when we did shoot missiles. As I do know, the Sheridan is a very fun tank. So I figured, you know what, before this tank does get nerfed, before it's not too fun to play for anybody, I wanted to pull it out, and as you can see, I only have missiles loaded, hence the name why this video is named Missile Challenge. So I wanted to pull out the Sheridan, have a little fun, only shoot some missiles today. We're only going to be cancerous for about two games, so it's not going to be too bad, I hope. But I just want to see how it actually does go and have a little bit of fun for once in a while. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. As always, if you do, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you are new to the channel. If you like this type of video and you want more funny content like this, please make sure to hit that. It really does help it out and we are able to get more and more giveaways out. But other than that, let's get straight into it. Now this is going to be live gameplay, of course, so I've got no clue what's going to happen. And unfortunately for me, I do suck with missiles because I really don't play this tank much. I've only played it probably 15, 20 times this entire month. And with that, I'm playing on PC right now, which is not my favorite platform. So uh, yeah, I'd say I'm going to hit about 20 to 30% of the missiles I fire, and that's if I'm lucky. So we're going to see how this does go. But uh, say goodbye to my bank account because these credits are going to drop away. So what do we have? We have 140, 62A, and a T92. That is a pretty bad matchup. So uh, we'll see how it works out. But uh, let's get straight into it. So uh, obviously I'm going to be going medium and I'm not going to push past the ridge because of course I'm going to shoot the missiles over the ridge. That's what this tank I guess is good at doing. Or at least for some people. So we'll see how it does work out. And now I do know it has a terrible damage per minute, especially with missiles, it's only like 2,200, which means that it really takes a while to get the damage out. You're doing the same damage as sort of like a uh, tier 10 tank destroyer, but minus everything. But there you go, we did penetrate our first missile right into the turret of the 140, because you know, what's the point of having turret armor when you have missiles? So there we go, first shell connected, we are going to try and tap maybe this 140 again if he pulls up. There we go, another tap into that 140. Looks like he's going to try and rush us, but since he got stuck on that rock, just going to give us enough time to get away. I don't know where our leopard went. Oh, of course, you know, just didn't uh, didn't push there. So that's always fun. So no clue why the leopard did that, but let's shoot another missile up into the sky. Hit that T92. That was a pretty good one. Uh, but, uh, oh, I'm kind of stuck. That's not good. Run away! I don't want to be hit by everybody here, so if we can get around this corner to our buddies, we might actually be fine. So there we go, we've got that 140, another missile into that poor 140. We actually haven't missed a single missile yet, that is extremely impressive for me. So the WT does look like he's got our back, he is aiming towards these people, so I believe in this WT. There you go, WT took him out, thank you. So we've got this T92 here, let's loop the missile over, we didn't pen him, that's our first non-pen this game, but we did track him, which means that the WT hopefully will just nuke his hit points right out of the game, there we go, he's at 84 hit points, he missed his shell, so let's give him a little love tap, there you go. That is our second take that we've helped take out of the game, so we're actually doing decent here, let's shoot this missile at the 100, maybe just maybe, oh, well that was a fail, hit it right into the edge of the uh, building there, or I'm not sure what you call it, but Definitely didn't go too well. Leopard yelling at the team when he should have helped me, so uh, I'm, I'm not too happy about that Leopard's work this game. But we do have the C100, see if we can slam a missile right into his lower plate. There we go, 546, that's a bit of a high roll. As you can see, if you can get the missiles to work, they work quite well, which is unfortunate for the enemy team, uh, but quite fortunate for me right now. So I don't want to be hit by that 62, but this would be, uh, I would say that would be a pretty cool shot if I could hit that, but obviously... I'm not that skilled. We did get a weird bounce there from the IS-8 because, you know, that's how this tank kind of works. It's got all those weird bounces and angles that really don't make sense. But, oh, that was a really, really bad shot there. Um, even though we've actually done quite a good job, looks like the team's going to lose this one, which is kind of sad. I, I don't know how they, how they managed to fail this one so hard, but um, I do give the WT credit for helping me out. 
see if we can maybe get a nice missile somewhere here. I can't pull out though, obviously. So maybe we'll be able to get this Yag Tiger. Let's loop it into him. There we go. Missile into the Yag Tiger. Not sure how much damage we've done. 3,090. So we broke 3,000. That's fine with me. So even though we were annoying with the missiles, even though we were kind of overpowered, as I said, the DPM is just awful with them. So we weren't able to get really any damage out. So there we go. Another missile into you. Don't want to be hit by that. Don't want to be hit by that. Run, run, run. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. Let's see, before we die, if we can just loop this missile down there. No! Okay, so, first game, uh, first impressions, we didn't do very well. We did, we did decent ourselves. We actually did, uh, like, 3,500 damage, which I'm fine with. Um, the team did not do the best, as you saw there. Hopefully that BK90 actually finishes them off. If our team had just done a little bit better, I think we could have actually won this game. But uh, as you can see, this this isn't going too well for this guy. Unfortunately, that WT got taken out. I don't think he. Um, I think he got rushed by maybe that 62 or the, the 268 got him there at the end. But that was a good game for us, a valiant effort. So we'll do one more game here and see how we do. The VK90 actually did decent, so we'll see. Yeah, the team did pretty good. The VK90 did good. WT did good. It was just the other guys. The Leopard, uh, in my opinion, should have helped me out a little bit more. He didn't even push medium, which in my opinion is probably the main reason why we lost. I wasn't able to flank, but still did. Good damage for me, so I'm fine with that. I don't really care about my win rate anymore in Blitz. A lot of people always say win rate's the most important thing. In my opinion, it's more based on damage and spotting. If you only get damage out, that probably means you're a camper, so... Only basing stats and damage, of course, doesn't work out. But if you base your stats on damage and spawning ratio, that means that, yeah, you are spawning people and you're getting damage out, which are two important things. That game there, I did my job. I did my job perfectly to a T when I needed to, and the team fell apart. In fact, I did better than I expected to. So that was a very lucky first game. Uh, do not expect that same result from this battle here, but we're going to see how it does work out. Now my opinion still stands that missiles are overpowered because I hit some shells there that I shouldn't have been able to, but in the fact of getting damage out, I really didn't get that much out. So here we go, we're in a pretty solid spot. I'm not spotting anybody, so let's shoot a missile. Oof, uh, I had a little bit of lag there and I wasn't able to turn it, so that kind of sucked. But um, we didn't know where they were going, it was a good lead, just unfortunately did not want to connect. So. Good idea on spotting them there. We do know where they're going. So we've got the 268 right there. We got the E5 as well. Um, let's shoot this missile right up the butt of the E5. There we go. Nice tap right there. And uh, that's a tank you don't want to mess with right there. That's a badger. A badger. So maybe if we spot him again, we might actually just be able to loop a missile down into him. Um, but I'm not sure about that. Come on, we got the Yag. I'm not going to be able to hit that. Uh, I'm not that good. So let's see if we can maybe spot the Badger. Nope, I don't want to move though. Okay, so we got the 268 pulling out. Come on. No! Badger hit us again, which is very unfortunate for us. So the Badger's alone. I do know that. Badger is very, very secluded and alone. So I might actually be able to rush this Badger here. If we can get up behind him, maybe, that'll be very, very good for us. Let's see if that might be possible. Um, I know where he's sitting. He's still in that little uh, bush there. So hopefully he won't spot us as we're trying to get behind him. Um, but here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go a little faster. There we are. We're spotted. Let's hopefully get behind him here. There we go. We just need to get behind him. Okay, there we go. We are behind him. So that was good for us. That was very, very good. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing, but he kind of blew this for himself. But uh, there we go. This is where missiles are very unfortunate for us. Uh, this is going to fall apart. We really can't do much. Uh, we could be shooting HE into the rear of him, but as you can see, that's, that's not working very well. Now, when you're behind a tank destroyer like this, there's pretty much nothing they can do. And this is why I don't like the Badger. It's so easy to get behind. Now, granted, this guy should have backed up into the wall there. I, I couldn't have gotten around him if he did that. But, um, obviously he didn't do that. So, we've distracted one of the most uh, important guys on this team. And, yeah, he's not going to be doing too well in just a second here. But this wasn't even with missiles. So, yeah, this, this was a little bit of a different turn of events. But, um, we're going to take him out here. So, let's just, uh... Sorry, dude. 
There we go. Badger taken out. We've got the Jagdpanzer E100 over here. So we're going to go and try and take him out next. Let's see if we can hit him. Here we are. Got the Yag. Fire the missile. Here, come on. There we go. Nice tap into the Yag. Just backed up, and we again broke out 3,000 damage. I'm happy with that. These guys are slowly making their way there. We're not going to get spotted, I don't think, if we shoot it around this corner. So let me spot him once again. There we go. And let's fire this missile. There we go. So we didn't get spotted until we had fired, which is good for me. And what are the chances of me killing this Jagdpanzer with a ram? We're going to find out. Probably not a great amount, but... No. Okay. That didn't work at all. So, yeah, that didn't work. But there we go. Still managed to get the kill, because I'm not sure why that T-30 didn't shoot an HE there. That was a pretty solid game. We were able to do 3,642 damage. It wasn't the best game. It wasn't the worst game. We didn't really do much with missiles there. Um, but we definitely would not have been able to pen that Jagdpanzer without missiles in the front anyways. But overall, two very solid games for the shared, and I actually had quite a bit of fun. I'm not going to pull this tank out until it's nerfed now, or unless I do another stream with Meatsy and I have to play it. But other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy this stream. How much do the missiles actually cost? Actually, they're not that expensive. Um, we didn't really spend that many credits. We actually gained credits. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As always, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you hated this video, if you hated this video, not sure why I said video there. If you hated this video, well, you know what to do. If you hate missiles, you know what to do as well. But other than that, guys, I hope you're all doing well out there. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.